there, it's me Katie Beth again. And today I'm gonna show you how I made this wall hang here behind my TV. Um, so about, uh, for about a year or so, we had wanted some type of big picture or Miro, and I really wanted something American flaggy, but I couldn't find anything that was large enough to fit behind our 42 inch TV and still be seen, or that was cheap enough. Everything that I found that was kind of large panes were super expensive and I just wasn't gonna pay for those. So, since it is early summer and American flag memorabilia is pretty easy to find, we just had Memorial Day and 4th of July is coming up pretty soon, I was able to find my materials for this pretty cheaply. So, without further delay, here's how to make an American flag wall hang. So, before we get started, I'd like to point out that you can buy large canvases at Michael's, but they're about 40 bucks on sale and 80 bucks regular price. So, that's not something I was going to do. What I did do is buy about six of the 16 by 20 canvases and put them together and that covered the space of my flag, which I got at Walmart for about five bucks. And the canvases themselves came out to a total of about $25 using coupons. As far as glue goes, what I found that worked best was the Loctite Epoxy, the one that I got for $3.78. Um, this is me using it here just push it through the little swizzle sticks. I ended up running out of the epoxy that I got because I was also using it for another project. So I ended up having to use a glue gun and it didn't hold quite as well. So I'd really stick with the epoxy if you're gonna do this yourselves at home. Next, I realized that I was going to need to brace the separate canvases together to add more strength so it just wouldn't bend over and break. So I used these little um, square blocks, flat blocks, that I got from Michaels for 59 cents each and just kind of added them on. And then I decided I needed to add a few more, so two more at the top and two more at the bottom. And then this is what the front looks like. And now I moved on to finishing the project. Here are some supplies that I used. I used Mod Podge and a paintbrush. I didn't know if I wanted the sponge or the brush, but I ended up using the brush. And then I grabbed the American flag, and I wanted to have some texture, not just be a, a stiff, straight flag. So I crinkled it up and wrapped it in a rubber band so that it would gain those wrinkles. So then I spread the flag out over the canvases and got going. So I dumped out the Mod Podge all over the flag and took the brush and spread it around so that it would harden and stick to the canvas there very nicely. Then I let it dry. Um, as you can see, it has that texture on it that I wanted. It's not just flat. And then I took it and the edges I just glued on so that it wouldn't be sticking out funny. What I didn't like is this raw edge on the side. I almost left it like that, but it felt really undone. So then I went to Michael's and I found these wooden buttons, which I also used a coupon on, never pay full price for things at Michael's or Joann's. And then I just dumped the buttons out onto the flag and organized them where I wanted them, grabbed my hot glue gun, and glued them on to a pattern or a look that I really liked as kind of the flagpole. A uh, wooden button, button flagpole, if you will. And here's my finished project. Um, I was actually really happy with it. Here's a, another angle. Here it is, hung up in my living room. And that's how I made my American flag wall hang. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great weekend.